Hi, this is Ned from Magic of Wheels. Today I have Omega Seamaster. This is a vintage timepiece caliber 565. This watch is hardly running and I am sure there are many things to be fixed in there. Before we go ahead and strip down this watch, please give me a like, share, subscribe and turn on bell notification. Also you can follow me on Facebook page Magic of Wheels and Instagram Magic of Wheels. I'm not a professional, I'm a hobbyist. Hi, this is Ned from Magic of Wheels. I am servicing Omega Seamaster Caliber 565. Start off with taking off leather strap. Let's check the function first. Manual wind cannot be done. Even though time setting is still okay, but they change at midnight is not very accurate. For this caliber, pulling out the crown to the second position is for quick set date change. Obviously it's got problem. I can't feel any spring tension. Also the crown is not original and it loses its leave. That allows moisture to go into the movement. Let's open the back case and see what else we can find. These two make this process so easy. I already see there is no gasket there. No case clamps on this side. And case clamp on the other is well rusted. Loose oscillating weight, I guess it's because of the axle. And somebody wanted to fix this with glue. That makes this screw so hard to remove. I am trying to remove the dry glue. Let's take out the movement. I am removing the case clamp. Then I am removing the winding stem. Now the movement should come off easily. This bezel is not original. You can notice by the space between the lock and the present bezel. Now we can notice loss of rust. And that's the broken tension ring. I can see some gap there, so I'm gonna remove the bezel. Now, there shouldn't be any problem. Again, dry glue. Next, I'm gonna remove the crystal. And I'm gonna remove the tension ring.
Let's come to the movement. I am removing the movement from the movement ring. Next, I'm going to remove the hand. The second hand is really stuck. The condition of the loom is so bad. No screw to lock the dial feet. So I can just pry off straight away. We know already how the moisture comes in. Back to the movement. I'm gonna remove the automatic mechanism. quite dirty back there. I am trying to wiggle off the oscillating weight. That's the gib just fell off. That is oscillating weight axle, which is not in good condition. I am removing the automatic lower bridge. That's small wheel winding wheel, and that's the large wheel winding wheel. This is the winding gear. That's the driving gear for ratchet wheel. That's the rotor axle. Look how dirty it is. This is the automatic lower bridge. This is the bearing for driving gear for ratchet wheel. Next, I'm going to remove the balance complete. I love to keep the balance on this holder. Now I'm gonna work on the dial side. First, I remove the cover plate. I am releasing the spring tension. Now I can easily remove the date jumper spring and the date jumper. That is date corrector. Now I am removing the dead ring. I am removing the hour wheel. The calendar intermediate wheel. And the calendar driving wheel.
For Canon Pinion, I'm going to use a special tool from Burgeon. Back to the movement side, I'm making sure all the tension is released. Now it's safe to remove the pallet bridge and pallet fork. That's the pallet fork. I am removing the crown wheel. This is the crown wheel core and the crown wheel. Here is the crown wheel seat. Now I am removing the ratchet wheel. And that's the automatic ratchet wheel. I am releasing the spring tension before removing the click and the click spring. This is the friction spring and it flies. And that's the center second pinion. I am removing the train wheel bridge. That's the third wheel. The fourth wheel and the escape wheel. Now I am removing the barrel bridge. Here is the great wheel and the main spring barrel. Next we are going to work on the keyless work. Start with releasing the tension. I am removing the setting lever spring. That's the correcting yoke. I am releasing the spring tension before removing the yoke spring and the yoke. That's the minute wheel. That is setting wheel. I am removing the clutch wheel and the sliding pinion. That is the pressure spring. And that is the setting lever. I am removing the crown from the winding stem. Let's remove the main spring. And unfortunately, I lost the video of that. That's all me this assembled Omega Seamaster Caliber 565. Thank you for watching, see you in next video. When passion and hobby collide, I'm Ned from Magical Wheels.